My name is Jesse Showalter, and today I'm going to do uh, kind of an interesting screencast. Um, I uh, have my own portfolio website, and over the years of doing projects for other people and focusing on that, it just kind of has fallen into disarray. And so I got a little sick of it, and I decided to redesign my portfolio site um, and re-implement that into ModX. Uh, but then the question kind of hit me, like, how do I do that? Um, what's the easiest way to do that? And um, I was really kind of nervous, but I, um, after I was all done, it, you know, it tended to be a pretty decent experience. So um, this is how my site looked a couple weeks ago, um, actually a couple days ago. And over the years, it just like I said, it just kind of fell into disarray. So I used to have a nicer image up here and a headline and a call to action, and and um, it just goes directly to um, a list of projects that you can click into and go see. And then it had like a Twitter feed down here and like a blog feed down here. And um, that's that was the homepage. So we're going to stick to the homepage because it's the same basic premise. Um, but I went ahead and redesigned um, my site um, it, down on a local host. And so this is the um, product of it. I actually have it up live now at the domain uh, at jessieshowalter.com. And so same kind of premise though. So um, a nav bar up top with a really simple navigation. Um, I brought back the headline and the call to action into this big hero image and then it goes straight into a list of projects. It's just a little bit modernized. It looks a little cleaner is all. And so there's the list of projects. I built out the homepage a little bit more and added a, uh, an about me section that goes to my bio, to my full bio. And then I added um, just some little snippets about what I do. And, uh, and then I did um, my latest blog post and my latest project and cut the Twitter feed and uh, just put some links down here to my social network stuff. So uh, that's the new site and um, I like it, I'm pretty stoked. And when I came into ModX to change everything, something that I found was really easy um, uh, was the process. And so here's how it kind of goes. Number one, I built a quick landing page or a splash page while my site was under maintenance and I uploaded all that. And um, two, I went into my assets folder which is where I hold all of my um, website files like fonts, images, um, you know, JavaScript and CSS. Um, in this case, it was um, the the whole site was developed using um, like SAS and Gulp and everything. So when I uploaded it, I just had one file. So I uploaded all my, deleted all my old files and uploaded all of the new files. Um, after that was done, um, I kicked over to my homepage template um, and I created a duplicate. So I created a duplicate of, of what the template that was already there and I called it home old and I saved it. And then I started going to work on not the home old but the home. So the home old would be the old template that was previously being used and I would start editing directly on the home. Here's why I did that because as I made changes here on this home template um, they would be able to take effect immediately. Um, if I click the site on or flip the site on. Um, and I wouldn't have to uh, use something like Batcher or to change all the templates to uh, some sort of home new template. So I just, I just did that. Um, once I did that, I, um, I was able to um, go in and to all of my global chunks. So like my top, which would be like everything that's in the head or above the closing head tag. Um, I went into everything that was in the footer and the bottom and, and I just replaced it with what was in my um, in my HTML file. All right, so went in and changed everything in there and um, excuse me one second. Let's just get this out of the way. So I changed all of those global chunks and um, then I went back to my template and I started just changing the HTML in there. But I noticed something that was really cool as I was doing that, that a lot of things stayed the same. Um, one improvement on my site was not just the design, but it was also the markup. So I didn't like how I marked it up last time. So I chose to mark everything up differently. I could have kept the same exact markup and just done CSS styling. Like if you've ever been to something like zengarden.com uh, or CSS Zen Garden, whatever that is. Um, I'll have to find the correct link and put it in the bottom since I just mangled that. But uh, I could have had used the same exact markup and just restyled everything and literally I could have just dropped the files in but I wasn't happy with my markup uh, per se. So I came back in and fixed all that. 
So I pasted in all the or all the markup that had changed and needed to be changed. Added in a couple of my new uh, chunks, like um, that skill set area, and uh, like down here, like this skill set area and this latest kind of area. And once I did that, you'll you'll notice I also use the same Git resources call. So on my old site, I was using Git resources to pull in all the projects. Well, surprise, surprise, it was the same Git resources call. So I literally just kept the call there, and I just went and changed this project list item template, or the TPL, right? So I went into project list item, and I think I used to, on this site, I was using like an unordered list and making each one of these list items. I didn't like that anymore. Um, so it was, yes, it is a list, but these were more like representational of a page or an article. So I changed it to article, um, and then just put the same kind of, same exact tags inside, same page title, and the same template variables being used. And when I flipped the site back on, it literally just flipped every single thing into place. Um, the only thing I had to do was go and change these black logos um, for my featured image or whatever that's on the home page. Other than that, everything switched over really, really beautifully. And this is the process I used um, throughout the whole entire process of changing over my site. Um, I think it took me a week or two to develop, uh, design and develop the site, and then it literally took me about two hours to flip everything over. Because it was just like making, you know, you shouldn't really have that many templates. And that's, I think, one of the recommendations in ModX is that you would work with as few templates as possible, but with the most template variables. Um, because as, as you start piecing everything out to template variables, um, you'll see that um, they do so much more of the heavy lifting than having a brand new template variable or a brand new template for this, a brand new template for that. In my case, I had like three templates. I had a home, I had a bio, and I had a project. And then I, of course, I had like my blog post and my blog list or whatever. Um, so like if you go to the foundry or the articles section, you'll see that there, there it was, right? There was my, um, that was my, like an, another template that I had developed. So I had a couple templates and it really, it took like two hours to do it because all of this stuff was just so easy to swap out. And um, so no, is ModX like a plug and play kind of like WordPress kind of situation where I could just press one button and it, and it changed everything? No, it's not. But I don't think you're going to get that in a lot of from the ground up built websites. Um, and so as close as I could get was really just like a couple hours and it was really, really easy, really harmless. And, um, and now I have a new custom design site that's not some template that I bought from somewhere. And it was fairly easy. So um, don't be scared of the process. If anybody else knows of a better process, maybe developing it and and you know, using Modix Cloud to inject it or something. I don't know. Let me know. Um, but for me, this was really, really easy. So um, take care. Hope you guys uh, have a good one. Aloha.